So now we can begin modeling SpongeBob. So we're looking in the front view here. We want to do this outside rectangle. We kind of talked about this a little bit before. He's 300 wide. We're missing a dimension here, but it is 400 tall. SpongeBob is 400 tall. So we're going to go back into here and we're going to look down our toolbar. Lower left hand side of our toolbar here, we have the tape measure tool. And we click that out and we can click on the tape measure. So that's how we make stuff to actual size. Anytime we model in SketchUp, we want to model to size. And that's actually why they have this person here, so that you know what's, how big a person is. So we said it's 300 wide. So from this blue axis, be careful, don't click on the origin here at all. Click on the blue axis, move it to the right, and I'm going to click it to place it, and I'm going to type 300 and hit Enter. And it should come to about halfway across her foot. And you'll notice it changed down here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click here, click up. This has to be 400. So I look down here in the length, 400, hit enter, and it moves it to 400. If it didn't do it, then you just have to erase them and redo them. Now we're going to come in and put their initial rectangle. Rectangle tool. Make sure to click on the black origin here first. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on the intersection second. Boom. Look down on the dimensions. 300 millimeters comma 400 millimeters. I know I did it right. If you don't have 300 by 400, let's say it says 295 by 400. That's going to be worth 50% credit, so we want to make sure to get that 300 by 400. How do I fix it? If it was wrong, use a select tool, drag from left to right, delete, and delete the guide that was incorrect, redraw your guide, 300, and then draw my rectangle. 300 by 400. I'm ready to go. The initial rectangle is done. Click Save. When it says saved, I can be done with that step.